Hey Divas, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Keisha here with another video. And today, Diva, we are stuffing and reworking our travel binder. So if you like sinking funds, savings challenges, cash stuff, and budgeting, planning, every and all things that have to do with your money, I would love for you to subscribe. But more importantly, don't move. All right, Diva. Well, the past few months, we have been working in my travel binder, cash stuffing. I'm working on my trip. We are taking a family vacation uh, in September during my kiddos' fall break. And when I set the, uh, my checking up, my, when I set up the numbers and how much I think I was going to spend on this trip, I wasn't solidified in a lot of the things that we wanted to do. So everything was kind of like a rough estimate. But now that I'm just a few weeks out from the trip, some of my numbers are confirmed and I need to rearrange some of the numbers here and, um, really streamline how much more I need to save to have a debt-free vacation. So I'm gonna take this tracker out, we're gonna rework the numbers, and at the end of the video, we're gonna go ahead and do a cash stuffing today, okay? So let's get to it. Okay, so like I mentioned, these are the numbers that I came up with you guys several months ago. I will link that video at the end of this video so you can kind of see where we first started to where we are today. And um, I, like I mentioned, I reworked the numbers and I need to address some of the things or kind of change out some of the things. So the first thing we're going to address is entertainment. When I first planned this trip, I mentioned that we are sailing on Royal Caribbean and Royal Caribbean has a their private island, Coco Cay. And they have a water park on the island. So when I was first creating the entertainment budget for this trip, I was including us purchasing tickets to go to the Water Thrill Island. However, after further consideration with my husband, we decided, hey, we are on a brand new cruise ship. This ship just came out a few weeks ago. It has water slides on it. We don't need to go pay extra money to go on another theme like water park. So we're going to reduce the entertainment budget. Also, the other change um, I'm going to make is lodging. I'm going to increase the lodging. We are going to be staying in the hotel the night before the cruise, and we're going to stay at a, another hotel the night after the cruise, well, the day the cruise comes in, because I don't want to be on vacation and kind of rush home. You ever get that feeling? Like, I don't want to be on vacation, relax, and then like we're rushing home. So I want to, because on a cruise ship, they like scurry you off the boat. It's not like you can just like say, okay, I'm going to do a late checkout, you know, make my way to the airport. It's like, wake up, rush, get off the ship. So we are staying one extra night in Orlando after the ships, after the cruise. So I'm going to increase the lodging. Miscellaneous, I had $200. I'm going to also reduce that because like I mentioned, I'm a little bit more streamlined and know where my money is going. And what else am I changing? Um, I'm also going to be changing shopping right now. It's 75. I'm going to reduce that to 50 because we just did a big call for the kids going back to school. September is still going to be nice and warm, especially since we're going down to the Caribbean. So we don't need to buy anything. I don't want to just leave myself out to dry with nothing. So I'm going to reduce that to 50 bucks. I'm also going to increase transportation. Transportation was $220 initially, but because we are flying, that has increased it. And then we're gonna have to take a couple of Ubers here and there, so that increases it. You would think that I wanna save money, which I do, which I do, but I think um, the convenience of flying for this particular trip just makes more sense. Um, you know, the time we have to leave, the kids coming home from school, like so taking a flight there and back is just more convenient, honestly. It's not cheaper, but it is convenient. So we're gonna make those adjustments and we might be able to shuffle some money around based on the new adjustments. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna wipe out the categories I just mentioned and I'm gonna rewrite the new numbers in and we'll go from there. So let me go ahead and do that. Girl, I don't mess the top. I didn't even mean to wipe that off. I'll fix that. What else so much? Okay, I feel like I made a bigger mess, but that's okay. Let me just rewrite this in. Okay, so entertainment now is going to be $50 instead of the 300 and something dollars that I had. Oh, I did have this brown one because I wanted to. I want to use the brown for the ones that were areas where we made the changes just so I can see. So the budget is $50. Food and beverage 
it was still the 550. I'm actually gonna go up in food and beverage, 600, just to be safe. Lodging is going up to 300. And miscellaneous is going down to 50. Um, shopping is going down to 50. I don't feel like erasing that, so we're just going to, my fingers are so wide. Girl, on second thought, I'm just going to erase all of these. That way we can get a more updated number on what I need to save for these next two months. Let's do that. Okay, transportation. Um, I believe I bumped this up to, I think I bought this up to $500. Okay. That means we'll have a new total. It really isn't this messy, guys. It's messy because one, I'm tr I was trying to like erase little ones. If I was cleaning the whole thing, it'd have been like one full swoop. Okay. All right. So now let's just figure out. We have two months. We have August and September to get to our goal. So now that we readjusted our numbers, what I want to do is just go in here real quick and just see where we are and um how much I need to stuff in each envelope to meet my goal, okay? So entertainment, my goal is 50, I mean 90, girl, $50. So we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. So we already have $91, so we've already reached our goal. So what I'm gonna do is, let me get this tray. I have my cash tray here. Move this back, so got it. okay. So I have my, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take the 50, no, they're gonna keep the 50, and we have 20, 30, we have the $41, okay? So let's go ahead and drop that in here to be used somewhere else. So this one is done. I don't have to add anything else for the rest of the time. Entertainment is complete. So you won't see me cash stuff that anymore. Okay, food and beverage is 600. Let's see what we have for that. Okay. So, I should I have my calculator here? So we have 1, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 144. So we have 600 minus 144 equals what 456 so um 456 my dog divided by two equals 228 so we need to add 228 this month and next month to reach our goal of six hundred dollars okay Lodging has increased to 300. Let's see what we have. 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. So 300 minus 63, 237 divided by two. Okay, so that leaves us with 119 a month. Okay to get to this goal. Um, next is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is the number is $50. So we have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we have $35 in here. So let's see, 35 divided by two equals $18. Hey girl, I messed up on that. That should have been $50 minus 35, which leaves me about $15 left. So that's about $7.50 per month. Okay, personal care is $50. Ugh, this dog, she's cute. So we have 20, girl, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we, our goal is 50, so that's easy. So we have $15 per month to go. Relaxation is next. Hey, come here, girl. 
What's up? What's up with you? Huh? What is up with you? She's not home. Daddy's not home. Okay, please. I'm trying to record a video. <sighs> Relaxation has 150, 70, 90, 95. So 450 divide, I mean, sorry. 450 minus 195 equals 225 divided by two. That's 127 per month. Okay. Okay, next is shopping. Shopping we did reduce to $50. So we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 50 minus 27 equals 23 divided by two. So that's about $12 a month. Okay. Spending, we kept the same at $75. Let's see what we have. 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 as well. So 75, um, take away 27, divided by two, that's 24 bucks a month. Souvenirs, our goal is 150. And that, I think, can also be reduced, girl. Um, yeah, I'm going to drop this down to 100. I'm not feeling getting messy again. Let's go ahead and drop that down to 100. Let's see, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So that makes us halfway there. So that's easy math. So that just means 25. 25 okay tips I think 75 still might be high but I'll keep it as that so 10 15 20 1 22 23 24 25 26 27 27 so 75 minus 27 48 divided by 2 that's 24. Okay, transportation. This is a biggie. The transportation is 100 to 120, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all this money that we just got from miscellaneous and put in here because um, the plane tickets, I'm about to order that and I'll pay on my credit card and I just want to pay my credit card off before, um, you know, before the statement date. So now let's see how much we have in transportation. 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. Okay, so let's do this now. 500 minus 181 equals 319 divided by 2. Okay, 159 is what we got to stuff for these next two months. Let's just call it 160. Okay. Vacay essentials remained the same. $50. So let's see, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 20 bucks in here. So that's easy, that's just $15 per month. And then my kids, which I still need to keep that amount, they have 65 bucks. So 150 minus 65. Divided by two equals, let's just call it 43. Okay, my doggy, Sashi, the one that you just heard on the line. Uh, 20, 40, 50, 55. 
Okay, and I believe we need to keep that at that amount. It might be a little less, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. 55 divided by two. Okay, 43, 43. And then my cruise deposit for my next cruise, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. 54. 250 minus 54 equals divided by 298. So the, the cruise deposit is the last thing. Like all these other things are priority before this one. Okay. So I don't know how long I've been recording. So I'm thinking that this might be a separate video to do the cash stuffing. But let me see. Now that I made the adjustments, let me see what my new budget for the trip is going to be. Okay. Okay, my total is 289.90. So we did go down from the previous budget. Um, yeah, we went down a few, a few, maybe two or three hundred bucks. So, okay, let me just see how much I need to stuff per month. Okay, girl, I got to stuff nearly a thousand dollars to get to my goal, and um. I don't know, girl. I don't know. But we're going to work. I'm not going to say I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to make it. But it looks like some of this, at least for this month, this is, um, I might do two cash stuffings in August. And then September, when I get paid the first of the month, I can probably just clear that out. Okay? So, um, so yeah. So, what else I'm going to do just to finish this off and... Um, I can probably do this offline is that I need to redo these. I need to redo these amounts and then just color in whatever I have because everything is off now. So when I do my cash stuffing, um, they won't be accurate. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish, set this up and then we'll do the other cat. We'll do the cash stuffing in a separate video. Okay. So, Okay, so now that we have our updated goals, I could already tell you I already have the money that I was planning on stuffing for um, this, this pay period. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff that, like I said, in a separate video, but this is going to probably require me to do a second cash stuffing. So I'm going to work really, really hard this month. Any kind of extra income, any kind of rollover, this will be my priority over some of the other saving challenges that I have going on. So this is where we are going to end it for the day. It Again, it was a little messy today because I wasn't cleaning everything off. But I'm grateful that I have these reusable trackers because if this was like a one-time deal, I'd have been whiting out and everything else. And now when you order these books, they come with these erasable pens. So it's very easy. You put a mark and you just erase it. Okay, so... You don't got to go through everything I just went through. All right. So that is it. I will see you in the next one. I'm going to record it right now. You're probably going to see these same hands. But again, I don't want to make this video too long. So if you stay to the end, uh, thank you so much for staying. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. I would love to have you part of the channel. And plus, you want to see what I'm doing with this, right? So go ahead and subscribe. So then you can just go to the next video and see me do the cash stuffing, all right? So like always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.